So here we're going to do a speed pizza making challenge. Oh, speed pizza, cool. Let's see who can make a pizza the fastest. The longest, the slowest. <laughs> who can take their time the most. Rules are, with the dough, we want you to toss it at least three times. Like in the air? In the air, it doesn't have to be high. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> three times. <gasps> okay. Can I just like stretch it instead? I'll try to give you what I can, but I'm not making promises. When you roll it out, you gotta roll up the dough. It's gotta be at least eight inches. We got a ruler there. Then you'll do the sauce and cheese, pop it in the oven for at least two and a half minutes. It can be more if you want, but at least two and a half minutes. So if I like my crust more well done, I'm penalized for that? Yes. So it's a, it's a battle between your pride and your, your spirit of winning. Obviously we like learned how to make pizza. So it's gonna be a little hard for me to just like throw shit up in the air and throw it in the oven, but no problem, I'll do it. All right, I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm not working for speed, because this is my lunch. Love making pizza. I'm definitely better at eating it. What do you think the toughest part of this is gonna be? Well, now it's like gonna be throwing it in the air. <laughs> I mean, one is trying to not poke a hole in the crust while you're working. And that's related to this, the biggest issue, which is getting it cleanly off the peel into the oven. I think that getting it off the peel into the oven is gonna be the hardest. It's funny, like, watching everybody, like, make pizza in this little oven and laughing at them. I did not think that I would be on this side of this challenge. So growing up, uh, we made pizza on roti because my mom, like, didn't want to mess with this whole thing. So this is, yeah, this is all new to me. You ready to go? Yeah. All right, three. Two, one, go. Okay, so I'm gonna flour my peel and then knock off the excess. Oh, God. Claire, where are you? I need you. Okay, well, you know, first things first, I'm gonna deal with my mutz. I know people like to tear, but I'm just gonna cut it just so it's ready to go. Oh, see what's, oh, it's a little warm. Not gonna lie. Very wet dough. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm already having problems. Oops. This dough is so wet. And there's a hole in it already. Okay, hold on. So we have to toss it, you say? Okay. Shit. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I'm preparing it for takeoff. It's gonna be okay. Alright, you ready? One, two. Three. Ah, uh, there's already a hole. One, two, and three. And now I'm gonna fix it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so stretching, stretching. One. Stia. Yeah. Oh, cool. That's really. <laughs> that's really cool. Define tossing. Does that count? Does that count? Yeah. Yeah? yeah? So is that two? That's two. Yes. You guys want me to toss this? They don't have to be big. Okay. <laughs> My poor pizza. There we go. One. Two. Three. It's eight inches? eight inches. All right. It's already bubbling. This is going to be a bubbly monster. Sorry for the chaos, but we're on a time crunch here. So I did toss it. Um, I split it, punched a giant hole in it. And now I'm just going to stretch it out a little bit with the understanding that the more time it spends on this peel, uh, the more likely it is to stick. Eight inches. I think that's about 10. Exactly eight inches at the widest part. A little bit of sauce. Sauce. I like my sauce to go all the way to the edge. I'm not gonna go too heavy on the sauce. Thin to win, you know? I can imagine if you were like good at this, that this would be like soothing, but this is the opposite of soothing for me to tell you where I'm at mentally. Oh, I wish it stretched more. You know, I don't like flying, and I don't like speed competitions, really. You know, speed kills, all right? I learned that when they gave me car keys, you know? I didn't kill anyone, but. I don't like cat keys a certain amount of cheese, do I? No. Oh, 
Okay, so ready? Oh, you know. Ow! How are we doing on time? <laughs> ah! We're sticking, we have stickage. Oh, you guys, this is not set up for a lefty. Left-handed person doing right-handed things. Oh, mother <laughs> God damn it. I think I've already lost this one. Oh no. It's stuck. The dough is entirely too warm. I hate to tell you. Well, we'll see what happens to that. Hope you're getting a kick out of this. Look at that. Exactly what I wanted to have happen. Okay, we got it in. Let's see what we got here. It's not looking great. I'm a lot of practice, as it turns out. I think this is gonna. I think it's gonna like burn the oven. It's okay. Are you sure? It's I like think it's the flour burning. It just. It smells like burning. I'm just gonna stress eat some mozzarella while we're waiting. You want to see, make sure it's uh, cooking? I'm looking for kind of nice bubbling around the edges. I want the cheese to melt. A lot of smoke coming out of this thing. Hey, Rob. That's not right. Yeah, you got all kinds of problems there, huh, Brian? You got a little cheese spillage? I mean... You got enough flour in there to make a whole nother pie. I've never made pizza before. You've never made pizza in your life? No. Okay. So the crust is set, so I'm just doing a quick rotation. Lots of bubbles. That's a very alive dough. And we're not like judging on the looks here. What are we, it's just. It's just the time and then like, hey, maybe someone took longer, but then it looks nicer. <laughs> oh, all right, all right. I'm gonna go a little bit longer, I think. I'll leave it like another 30 seconds, maybe. All right, all right, I'll take it out. I wanted a little more color, but. This will do. All right, I think I, I think I gotta call it. Ooh, this is a hot pizza. The shape leaves something to be desired. All right, so it's a little small. My little personal pizza. It's not eight inches anymore. <laughs> oh, there's, there's za, bro. You know, it's gonna taste great. It's also like not a dough that I was used to using. What is this? Pepperoncini? Interesting. It's fancy chili flake. All right, little hair, fresh blazzle. Time. Oh, yeah. And time. Just finish it off. Surprise pie. Oh, bonus. Nobody else is doing that. There it is. And time. And time. I'm happy with that. It's a pizza. Use what? There's a fire in there for you. Oh wow, there's literally Priya, a fire. Shut it down. Put a little salt on it. Bria, <laughs> don't panic, okay? Just stand there. I got it. It's fine, Bria. Just you know, you're gonna send off the freaking Ansel system. I think it's beautiful. I'm proud of it. I'm gonna eat it for lunch. And I think I think I won this one. I don't care what the numbers say. Uh, I think it turned out pretty well. I'm like stoked on the crust. I feel like underneath, I'm really liking the way that the, uh, the undercarriage looks. I'm not very proud of this pizza, but I would have taken my time if I wasn't under time pressure. So I'm not surprised that it didn't turn out great. I mean, it looks a lot better than I thought it was gonna look. <laughs> oh, God damn it, that was horrible. Um, it smells really good. I'm kind of excited to eat it, so. Look, it's semi-round, a little toot root from when we had our issue. The pizza is very <laughs> small. I'm not really used to using this head of my body, so it was sort of hard to see what my placement was, and then, like, you know, it just basically caught on the edge of the peel and got smushed. Not the sexiest pizza I've ever seen in my life. 
But it has all the components. Cheese is properly melted, crust rose, you got color on the outsides, and... See what I'm talking about there? It's like browning on the bottom of the pizza. I don't hate it. You know, I still think we maybe could have gotten a little bit more color on the top. I eat it. I'm eating it. I mean, it definitely have hot. It's hot pizza. <laughs> pizza like, might be the most forgiving food in the world. Honestly, it's really not bad. Kind of tastes like a Neapolitan style pizza. Like slightly underbaked. <gasps> oh, I, oh my god! I thought that she. I thought this was cheese. <laughs> Time's not important. It's about enjoying your time in the kitchen. I think speed is important if you own a pizzeria and there's a line of 20 people at your pizzeria, but at home, stay, take your time.